Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Two days for you and one trip to Culver's for us, and we're back for more yep. Phoenix Wright yep. Justice for All! Has anyone even heard of Culver's? If you live in the Midwest of the United it's States of America, maybe. yeah. Basically, it's like a decent place to get fast food. Anyhow, we're... As someone who had never eaten there before. Anyhow, Sorry. we're going to farewell my turnabout, the part one, two investigation. Okay. Oh, Pearl is <laughs> ready to roll. March 21st, 11.34 a.m., right in company law offices. Well, at least we were able to get Mr. Matt on guard as our client. And we know that he didn't do it, which is very important. So... So now what should we do? Well, the trial is tomorrow, and we only get this one chance. There's only one way to prove Mr. Ongard's innocence. We have to find the real killer. Okay, then let's start looking! Where's Pearlie's theme? Since there were no psych locks, then that means we can trust Mr. Ongard to be innocent. I really feel much better knowing that. Ever since last night, I was so worried I kept wondering. What if he's the real killer? And what if then? Hey, I have something I want to ask you, Pearls. Okay, what is it? Why are you so interested in how Maya and I get along? I mean, she and I don't have anything special go- Huh? Well, what do you mean? But, but, but I thought- I thought you and Mystic Maya were- I've been mistaken all this time? No way! Ah! She really wasn't kidding! Pearls actually believes Maya and I are- Maybe I should have just left it alone. Mr. Nick, stop it! Don't hide your true feelings from me! Ow! She slapped me! Okay, now we can examine Charlie, surely. How old is Phoenix right now, anyway? 25? 25. Yeah, that is kind of a weird age gap for him and Maya. Oh, I'll water it! Ah, uh, it's okay. I already did that. The watering can! What are you, Mr. Watering Can? Pearls gets too wound up if she's not doing something to distract herself. Where's her ball? I hope Charlie can withstand Typhoon Pearls. This is the Nickel Samurai, right? Y yeah, that's right. Mr. Nick, please take care of Mystic Maya and be her Nickel Samurai, all right? What? No. <laughs> There's a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high-class luxury hotel. Actually, the crime happened at the recently completed hotel in the center town. Oh, different hotel. Same same name, but different hotel. Stupid. The Gatewater Imperial Hotel. Just how far are they going to expand their empire? Okay. That so makes more sense. I was like, what? My desk. Since I don't have time to sit, it's unusually clean. Oh, I cleaned it up some more for you last night. Because I couldn't sleep. I mean, you might as well do something. Yeah. I've been there for homework where I'm like, well, I need to be doing the homework, but I should really clean my room! Like, that's like the only time I feel like I actually clean my room. <laughs> procrastinating one right. work by doing another. Procrastinating one work by doing another. That's actually a pretty good strategy. That's a lawyer's sacred treasure, isn't it? I guess? I feel like it has this mysterious power, just like my Magatama. Hmm, well, I guess I can let her think what she wants on this one. This is gonna be so sad. We're not gonna have Maya, like, with her sass wanting burgers this whole time. Yeah, Maya's not in this game a whole lot. So sad. <laughs> um, there's still so many things in this world I don't understand yet. Honestly, I still don't have enough training. Uh, no, it's okay. I don't have any ideas myself. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Oh, Mystic Maya, I wonder if you're alright. I'm sure she's okay. We have to be patient for just one more day. I'm sure we can save her, trust me. If there's anything I can do, please tell me, okay? To tell you the truth, I really want to grow my hair out just like Mystic Maya. But my mother wouldn't let me. I think your hair now suits you perfectly. Really? Thank you! <laughs> fidget, fidget. <laughs> Gumshoe. Sure, every person. Why not? I'm sure that Mr. Detective would be our ally if we asked. Yeah, I think so too. Looking back, we've known each other for a while now. He's always been trustworthy. 
a bit off, but still trustworthy. What a paradox. He's a really kind and really nice old man, isn't he? Pearls is really perceptive when it comes to people. But what sh does she mean by old man? Hey, Pearls, what about me? What about you, Mr. Nick? On second thought, I don't think I want to hear this. Because <laughs> I think Will and Phoenix are the same age. Just about. Um, there are still so many things. No. <laughs> no. So many things. No, <laughs> nothing about old Ben. What about Anger? Um, oh, I still don't know anything about it. Alright, fine, fine, fine. That's the game being like, hey, Artie, um, tick, tick. <laughs> Is he gone? March 21st, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Ah, the lawyer dude. So what did you find out? Um, well, I'm still in the middle of investigating. I see. But I already told you everything I know, dude. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. Wait, is this the same thing? Yeah, this is the same thing. Ugh, <laughs> oh, manager was running around. Yeah. <laughs> manager doesn't even count as a person. I don't think that was... No, that was... that was. We'd seen that before. I don't think we'd seen that before. Anyway, when I was leaving my room... Yeah, no, we've seen this before. Mr. Critter was already dead. Dude. Did I... You may have zoned out at that time. Did I some... zone out or something? Maybe. I don't remember this. This this is word for word we... what we've had. Yeah, before. I know I know the dude arrested him, blah blah blah. Okay, then where are we supposed to go? Uh the hotel. Oh yeah, that would make sense. Let's meet his manager. Hope it's a lady. Hope it's someone crazy. March twenty first, Gatewater Hotel. Meet someone hotel who's lobby. like obsessed with birds or something. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't come in without Good morning! Hold on! It's you! What is it going on around here? Uh, uh, um... I heard Paul Juan was killed! Is that true? It's a bad rerun is what this is! And I'm a steel samurai doing the most evil of deeds! Um, you know, that's not entirely... I'll have you know that I was a huge fan of Juan's! Why, oh why do all the stars I'm interested in drop one by one like flies? It's always been that way. Ever since I was a little girl in the elementary school, the Hikaya's class answer to it was fine until I started to be doing it. Then they called me Queen Re Reaper. Well, I went every the um... Actually, I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. <laughs> Don't push me, boy! I'm trying to imagine her with a class hamster, like... It's a class hamster! Um, uh, Mr. Nick? I, um, uh, I couldn't hear anything she said because she was talking too fast. <laughs> Miss Oldbag, could you please speak a little slower? Don't boss me around, you spiky-haired smarty pants! Alright, space woman. My dear Hammer died a year ago in that dreadful murder. And only recently did I finally find a star that makes my heart go ba dump again. I don't know what to say. I ask you, why does every star I cheer for always end up kicking the bucket? Um. I don't want your words! No one's going to get away with saying anything bad about my wand! But I haven't said anything. Well, I don't believe a word that woman says anyway. Huh? What woman? That irritating backwater girl with the afro and the horrible country accent. I mean, what is the manner of speaking supposed to be? And why does she never stop? They're like two of the <laughs> kinds. Honestly, women these days, they don't know the word of them, the meaning of the word modesty. When I was a young maiden, I was so beautiful the flowers blushed. But despite the side press the flowers, and I read poems. Pearls, are you thirsty? Um, a little. Okay, I'll go get you some juice or something. Thank you very much. Hey, are you paying attention? Yelling's today. So I'm guessing this old bag heard everything from Lada. Good, we did not abandon Curl. I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. Ah, I don't know anything about that. I was here getting ready. <gasps> I wonder, does this mean when we go to court, Curl will be, like, behind the counter with us, and she's like, I can't see over it! <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> getting ready? For what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterwards. <laughs> Cue mysterious music for the magical press conference. Anyway, I don't know anything about the murder. Ah, I see. But... But if you're talking about what I saw, that's different. I saw it very clearly. What? I saw the most important moment of the night. The moment when they got the rewards. <laughs> the, the most important moment? You don't mean. Oh, so now you treat me with respect, you disrespectful child. When you speak to your elders, you should always be polite. Really, kids today. Please tell me, what did you see? Uh-huh. 
up! <laughs> oh my gosh! The murder last night was gruesome, wasn't it? But then, what murder isn't? Please don't stay uh, stray onto another tangent, please. Oh my! If you want to hear more, then show your respect and bring this lady a present. Give her the uh, poster. <laughs> I don't have anything to say to you delinquents like you! Ugh, she's climbing up like the old clam she is. Please! Anything would be helpful! Well then, how about I tell you my measurements? Um, no, that's okay, really. She really doesn't like you, does she, Mr. Nick? I know, I know. <laughs> oh, never mind, she's just, like, not gonna say anything. She's done. Viola Hall. March 21st, Gatewater Hotel, Viola Hall. Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. The hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. That's how murder is. I wonder if we can do any investigating of our own in this kind of atmosphere. Well, got to roll up the sleeves and try, I guess. Well, how funny that there's no people here. We ate at this table last night, didn't we? Yes. I was really happy then. I wish I could make you smile again, even for a second. They left all the food out, of course. Yeah, they don't can't clean up. Well, sprite limitations, but mm -hmm. they can't clean up the food. It might be evidence. March 21st, Gatewater Hotel Hallway. Hey! You here! I've been waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer. Lotta. Hey! Mr. Cockfella! The thief's shown his face! What? what, what? Arrest him! Put him on trial! Find him guilty! Give him the death penalty! Well, what's wrong, Lana? Are you feeling alright? Looked here and there and up and down the mountain, but it ain't here! So why don't you just hurry up and give me back to me, you creep? Um, what are you looking for? My camera! C-A-M-E-R-A! -E it's my lifeblood! I'm gonna die without my $700 camera! Y your camera? Look, don't lots of people say the criminal always goes back to the scene of the crime? And looky looky, here you are! Yep, here I am, faced with a lot of trouble. <laughs> huh? Hi, Lotta, again. <laughs> so you lost your camera? It ain't no ordinary camera. You buy it in the store, it's $1,600 brand new! Huh? But didn't you just say you bought it for $700? I had a nice long chat with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. <laughs> Wow, Lotto really wanted a good deal. I made this itty bitty scratch on it and the manager got all huffed up in the face. He gave me his talking to and was real mean about it too. He done made me cry at that. When did you lose your camera? Last night, after the murder happened. Must have been when I was busy running around looking for things. That's when I lost sight of my dear, darling, expensive Tweety. Lotta, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I don't rightly know. I snapped a shot of anything that caught my eye. It's like, there's a wall, another wall, the bathroom stall. <laughs> hey, that rhymed. <laughs> so I don't remember, and besides, I couldn't get anything for my big scoop. I wonder if Wada's missing camera is even connected to the murder. Wada's camera added to the courtroom. Oh, well, I guess we have it. No, it's a note. <laughs> I know. Camera. Wada, please tell me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here until up about the time that Mr. Engard was arrested. What were you doing here? You sure you went to school, city boy? Whenever Lotta Heart goes, Lord heart. Heart. <laughs> there's a story to be found, a big scoop to be had. The one thing that I like about Lotta is that if she screws up her words, it's kind of okay. <laughs> That's true. Versus, like, I'll screw things up, she's just like, eh, whatever, stutter. <laughs> a big scoop? I told you before, I'm gonna be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. Reckon course, that means I'm always looking for the perfect shot. I wonder what scoop she was after this time. Although, I was also on the lookout for the other stars that were there. So, maybe I wasn't here the entire time? Okay, is it just me, or is there only sound coming out of one speaker? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Lada, are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you could take a picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but that's what real journalists, journalists do. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, why not get a picture for proof? What kind of story was it that you would hang around here for? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, just two. I was like, 
Thank you. Oops, sorry. Mr. Lawyer can't be telling you that. Trade secret, you know. Not again. Why does everyone have something to hide? We've been stopped, haven't we? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Take that, Mr. Lawyer. I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lana and your I rule smile. She does rule. Not really. Honestly, like, she's not Lana great, comes back really... too much. She's not even that great a character. Yeah. That's, that's my fun. imagination. Um, do you know anything? <sighs> I told you how many times now? I'm a journalist. I got so much info running laps in my head, I forgot things here and there. Please don't get so worked up over this. Ha! I don't care if you beg me. Be extra tough on kids. <laughs> that's the scale's model for learning youngsters. Oh, and I just bought that camera. Who did it? The thieving rascal! Please don't look straight at me while you're saying that. When I find the bugger who went and done this, they're gonna pay with the bullet! And if you do that, don't expect me to defend you. <laughs> She's just like, you stole my $700 camera! <laughs> this old granny? Ah, oh, she kept on glaring at me with those eyes of hers as if it's my fault. Keep blabbing on how she won't forgive people who write trash about her and want. Ah, uh, yeah. We sort of got into a little fight, you know? A little fight? Knowing those two, it was probably more of a blabbering contest. <laughs> I don't really care for them heroes or whatnot. Oh, I see. And shows they've got for kids, those adventures are just plain old boring. Now, adults, we get more caught up in messy, sticky, real situations. Even me. Oh! Sounds like the type's getting what I'm going with this! Well, wait a sec here. Don't go around getting her mixed up in things like that. Wait, what, but what about other people? Who else did you have in mind? Maya! She's like, where's your friend Maya? She Not know. the attorney's badge. She's like, you show me that badge how many times? Woo-hoo! I mean, she's gone. Oh, good call. No, I think about it. She's with you all today, is she? Um... She's a spunky one. You shouldn't have been letting her out of your sight. Who knows what she's up to now? Like you're one to talk. Ah, just want to say sorry to you. For... Well, I really absolutely thought you were the murderer. <laughs> huh? You know, last time, that thing with Maya Faye. What? what, what? But why? I mean, you were all worked up, you know? Lana, that was very insensitive of you. Wow, Lana. Come on. Uh, yeah, gumshoe. Um, do you know anything? <sighs> no, she don't. <laughs> she could have done herself, too. Oh, yeah. This kind of hairstyle is pretty hard to get, you know. Hard to care for, too. Just the other day, I ran my hand through my hair to fix it up, and suddenly, out pops this dollar coin! That's gotta be like hitting the jackpot! Wow! That's really lucky! <sighs> what a deep conversation that was. Worth it, though. Alright, so now, do we want to go to Ongard's hotel room or Corita's hotel room? Well, one of them's dead and one of them's in jail. Take your pick. You said you wanted to meet his manager, didn't you? Yeah! March 21st, Gatewater Hotel, Ongard's Hotel Room. Um, where are we? We're in Mr. Matt Ongard's dressing room. This is our client's room. Uh, may this... I help you with something? I just need to see this girl. It's literally Penny! <laughs> it's literally Penny! Oh what? my gosh. She looks exactly like her. Just a little more stuck up. Otherwise, it's like a mix of Penny and the girl from, um... Completely different no, hairstyles. Mixed... Completely different outfits. No, but it's, Comple it's the no, same... She doesn't have freckles! It's the same physique and the same eyes. Anyway, she also reminds me a little bit of that girl, the Toad... Toadette from, um... Paper Mario 2 that's like, Oh, I must be going. <laughs> and then, like, walks out of the room. Oh, Jolene. Jolene, that's her name. I was like, Jo? Yeah, I can see it. Also, like, a younger version of our aunt. Stuck up. Oh, yeah, not not that her aunt stuck up. No, but, no, no, um, no, just in terms of looks. Yeah, yeah in terms of looks. Shoot, um, I gotta think of uh, how she's gonna sound. Where? You're Mr. Anglard's lawyer, correct? I gathered as much. I also looked for lawyers of my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? 
You were just saying that he's your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Wow! It's simple deduction, really. The trial's tomorrow, and Mr. Ongard's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here one stop on, in on your mad dash to find clues to build this case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off, either. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. I am Adrian Andrews. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. Uh, Alright. She may be of small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. If I was sleepy, this is who I would be. <laughs> In terms of voice. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? D yes, that is correct. Then I will tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. Ungard. In this theory room- Oh, does she have long hair? Yeah! Oh, I could only see her half cut on the top. That makes more sense. In this theory room, I might add. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you. I hate wasting time with trifling details. If you took a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. When the award show was starting, I headed for the viola hall. And after the show ended, you came back to this room? No, I had some small errands to run. Oh, like maybe kidnapping somebody? Da, 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 da. We already know it was the bell oh, boy! Maybe they're in on it together! I don't know why he would kidnap her, though. Mm -hmm. Other than, like, somebody being like, I want to put you up to this. Like you said, you're like, edge work is too behind. Maybe. I helped with preparations in the lobby. Oh. Preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess. Your voice for her is like a combination of your own voice and um, Vasquez is like, mm. eh, you didn't do this. Well, she's, it's a manager. When it was time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to call for Mr. Ongard. After that, I went to visit Mr. Corridor. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? You really held strong through everything. Yeah. She does seem to be mentally tough as nails. Um, so, about you and- Stop right there. Don't expect me to believe you have something- hey, you've been talking with me. Now- Talking to me without knowing how we relate. S sorry I have no idea why Mr. Ongard chose you as his lawyer. Why did you have to go and say something like that? Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress later, alright? I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. Ungard's manager. His manager? Speaking of managers, did the victim, Mr. Corita, have one? No, he did not. He didn't? Global Studios has a very di different policy from the Worldwide Studios, in that Worldwide Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor partner. Dragging a little girl like this to, to places, honestly. You're wrong! I, I'm doing this to help Mystic Maya! Pearls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, alright? Mm. Let's look around at everything. That's the bedroom over there. Oh, yeah! Sure. <laughs> That's a bed? Wow, they have really big beds here! I can't believe the lady's like, please do not look around my room. <laughs> it's not her Wait. room. Yeah, I was about to say, where is she staying then? There's two beds. Oh, yeah. Well, no, actually, hotel rooms usually have two beds. Yeah, they do. There's some samurai and, looking like, clothes on the sofa the wall, here. And you're like, I want to charge my phone. But, like, the outlet's behind the, like, behind the bed. You're like, who planned this? Anyway. Um, I think that jacket looks looking thing is called a happy. Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that would make a great souvenir. Maya would be absolutely thrilled. At least Pearl wasn't kidnapped. Yeah, that would be worse. I think that would be significantly worse. Looks like dishes left over from dinner. A dinner for two at that. I'm sure they're Mr. Ungar and Mrs. Andrews' plates. Looks like they had T-bone steaks. Oh, I just realized. What's with Golo Studios and T-bone <laughs> steaks? <laughs> oh my gosh. They ate the bones! <laughs> no, maybe they didn't. Did they leave bones? <laughs> they left bones. Yeah, they did. Okay. She seems tough as nails and can eat bones. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably Mr. Ongard's suitcase. For someone who is only going to be here for the award show, this is a lot of stuff. Some people pack heavy. Looks like he has about three days worth of clothes in here. Stars 
really are different from us, aren't they? I mean, I have friends who pack, like, two suitcases for hanging out on a sleepover for a weekend. Mm -hmm. And then there's me. I'm just like, I have my bag, here I am. Um, I think it's something. She just seems like, if you put the calculator in her hand, she'd be like, mm-hmm, yes, I'm an accountant. And she could do that. I don't know, maybe she should be British. We have no, enough British people. No, not okay. British. I think this is fine. Um, I'd like to ask you about this. I told you I hate trifling matters. It's a waste of time to show me things that are of no relevance to me. Wow. Also, this is like <laughs> the chill version of Von Karma. <laughs> this is the first time I've been shut down this badly. Um, Von Karma without a whip. That's what I'm saying. Like, if Von Karma had, like, a really chill little sister. <laughs> well, I wonder how old she is after this. Oh, you were the one taking care of the arrangements for this press conference, right? Yes, that's correct. But Mr. Ungard said he didn't know about it. Is that what he said? Huh? Actually, I didn't know all the details either. It was a request from the publicity department. All I did was help out and do what I was asked. Oh, I see. I wonder about that. I wouldn't take her to be the type of person to do something without knowing the details. I want to see how old... I'll get there, don't worry. She don't know about no cameras. She is 23. Oh. An intelligent woman who seems to have it all together. The same age as him. She's, that's she's little... two years older than oh, that. Oh, two years. Guard. That's yeah. a little fishy. Really young. Hmm. I feel like normally managers are at least like five years older than the person you're managing. Maybe yeah, more. Maybe. I hate talking about myself. It's a trifling matter, that's why. S sorry. Take away that layer of sarcasm and she really does seem to hate herself. <laughs> I hate people. I asked to become Mr. Ongard's manager. He's a pleasure to manage with his nice dis disposition. Hmm. Miss Ongard, Mr. Ongard does seem to be a rather weak-willed man, always doing as he's told. He's always saying you're managing, right, Mr. Nick? That's how celebrities are, though. Yeah, it's like true. celebrities do kind oh, of. Oh, sorry, dude. Time. My manager says I can't go to McDonald's with a friend. <laughs> it would well, be bad even, publicity. Well, not even that, but just like <laughs> things you do are being planned by people who yep. are above you, managers, mm -hmm. uh, publishers, etc. That's how they're able to live the crazy lifestyle they do. Is they're like, oh, I've got this photo shoot this one day, and then I've got this book signing another day, and then that night I have a concert to do. On Saturday at eight. Concert starts. <laughs> Darn it, I keep forgetting you didn't watch Cyber Chase. <laughs> I watched a little bit, but not much. Did you know the victim, Mr. Corita? Yes, I knew him. The world is such a small place after all. Did you know about his rivalry with Nickel Samurai? Honestly, they were like children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most uninteresting things. If either one of them weren't so stubborn, then maybe no one would have needed to die. I've got a hunch that this woman knows more than she's letting on. She must know why Juan Corita was killed. I don't know this person. <laughs> she's not trifling, how dare you! Agreed. Do you have any ideas? As to... As to why Mr. Corita was killed? Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job, so do you have any ideas? Of course a Cyclops! Does she have five? No, four. but four. <laughs> Miss Andrews? Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. Is it a Cyclops, Mr. Nick? Yes. There's getting to be more and more of these lately. It'll probably be like back in the day when we were ch when they were children. One of them stole each other's rabbit, like stuffed rabbit, <laughs> and then the other was so mad for years that there was a motive for murder. <laughs> there are stupid motives in this, though. Like some of them are legitimate, and some of them are like, oh well, you I, just came to my place. I didn't and want this guy to think that I was involved with con artists. <laughs> sure. Or it was also just like, oh hey, this girl just came in and wanted to. uh do a murder thing with my daughter. Uh, Why not, are you talking no, about? No, not with the daughter. Uh, with my uh, niece. 
And this might kill her. Well, okay. You know, that whole thing with Morgan. She wanted it, her to die, though. She wanted Maya to die? Well, she wanted her to be framed for murder. Yeah, she wanted to be framed for murder. I don't think she wanted to literally <clears> kill <throat> March 21st, Gatewater Hotel, uh, Teddy Bear Room. I mean, Corridus like Hotel Room. Mr. Nick, where are we? We're in Mr. Juan Corrida's room, Mitt Pearls. Oh, maybe he has a manager that's, like, sobbing. Mr. Corrida? The victim. Which makes this the crime scene, too. No, Adrian Andrews, Andrews just said that Corrida didn't have a manager because oh, they didn't have individual managers. Oh, that's Oh, it's you. So, what's happened? The kidnapper! Has he contacted you again? Not yet. He probably won't until we win Mr. Angard's acquittal. Um, you doing okay, pal? Hanging in there? I just want my head to be all right. We don't have a lot of time left, but I'm going to help you as much as I can, pal. Can you do that? Even if we want to look around the crime scene? Just this once, special circumstances, right, pal? I'll even tell you everything I know, but you've got to keep quiet. It's my neck on the line here. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I got you guys a map of the hotel, pal. Here you go, little missy. Wow! You're giving it to me? Thank you! Haha! <laughs> Wouldn't want you to get lost in a hotel too big for its own good. Mr. Nick, I got a map! That's great, Pearls. Um, but Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. Hotel guide map added to the court record. I kind of would make sense, though, in Japanese. Because this game is Japanese. Because... No, wait, I say. It's... It's American. <laughs> sure. Oh, well, but if it was translated in Japanese, like, everything will be kanji, and it's like... Right. Uh, so, so yeah, we've Rita already we're literally in the last room of the hotel okay. that we know of. What about the bathrooms? Check the bathrooms. Maybe important. the murder weapons in there. Do you know what was the cause of death? Well, technically the final autopsy report isn't out yet, but one look at the scene of the crime should tell you, pal. The Smothered by bears. The scene of the crime. Yeah, here's a picture. There's a knife in his chest. Yeah, pal. That's the murder weapon. So he was stabbed to death. They're looking at the fingerprints down at the lab right now. There were fingerprints on the knife? Yup! And it looks like they're pretty sure they're Matt Ongard's prints, pal. That's bad. Real bad. Crime this photo like, added to the court record. This is like a mix of Steel Samurai and the one where um, Edgeworth was on the boat at midnight on Christmas. Yeah, it's a little like, bit. It's totally Edgeworth. Why was Mr. Ongard arrested? Because we had evidence on him. Evidence? It looks like the victim Juan Corita really put up a big fight. Yeah, one look at the crime scene and you can tell. There's signs of a struggle everywhere. Well, yeah! During the fight, his button came off. Mr. Ongard said something about a button. Something like one of the Jamma Ninja's buttons got caught in his Akama. But that's not all. What? There was a witness, pal. Of course there A was. witness? Who, who is it? A clown? That oh. lady, Miss Oldbag. Please, anyone but her. Do you have any idea how hard it is to edit her lines? Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> the prosecution has plenty of evidence to make a solid case. Not to mention there's something at the crime scene that was a little off. Something that was a little off? As in... As in, that's for you to figure out, pal. Alright, let's try and figure it out, Mr. Nick. What do you know about this? Um, there's nothing special I can tell you about this, pal. Look, pal, we don't have a lot of time. Why don't you show me something more important? If Miss Von Karma saw me here like this, I'd have to switch sides real fast. Well, then I guess she's probably the other prosecutor. What do you know about this? Pal, I didn't go to the press conference. <laughs> That's your present from the kidnapper, huh? While you're talking, it sends and receives radio waves. If we could trace that... Yeah! We could use it to find out where the bad guy is! It uses radio waves, huh? I got it! I'll go find a radio scanner and let you borrow it, pal. Sounds great. What do you know about the camera? Oh, I didn't even talk to her. You look at this photo, and you can't help it. Makes you want to say, I can't believe this is the scene of a murder. Stabbed with a knife after a struggle. A clue is sleeping in this photo somewhere, I know it. Can I look at it again? 
Oh yeah, sure. There's wine. It's tomato juice. Okay. And it actually is tomato juice, even in Japan. Okay. Something smashed, smashed, smashed. Guitar is completely gone and smashed. <laughs> you know what they do at the end of like rock concerts, right? Yeah. Um. That's either water or the smallest vase I've ever seen on top of there. That's like a wine glass filled with tomato juice. From okay. the you know I love drinking tomato juice out of my wine glass. Yeah. I'm sorry. For what? I really want to help you look for her, pal. Mr. Detective. If anything happens, let me know, okay? I want to help in any way I can. Yeah, that girl's had enough to worry about. Hey, little Missy, listen good, okay? Okay, what is it? Don't ever pick up a whip, okay? Don't even think about it. Huh? If you ever find yourself thinking you want one, try to make do with a good slap to the face. Got that? Slap the person in the face. Promise me, okay? Personal experience tells me Gumshoe should be careful what he wishes for. I look good! I think I've lost some weight, pal! It's only wishful thinking. Wow. Wishful thinking, huh? In that case, I wishfully think I've lost some weight! <laughs> <laughs> I wishfully think he might face the facts one day. Lately, I've been on the instant noodles only diet, pal. Hey, that's pretty good considering. What do you know about this? Um, dude, I- actually, he was part of that case. If I had a choice, she would be number three on my list of people I don't want to see. <laughs> because I'm the number one spot? Don't get all high and mighty on me here. You've taken a tumble into second place, pal. Huh? Really? Then who's in first? Miss Von Karma's miles and miles ahead of you in this race. <laughs> uh oh She's really scary. Right now, Miss Von Karma, you really don't. He's so scared of her that he's whispering now. <laughs> I'm not a real fan of action shows or anything, but I know who Juan Corita and Matt Ongard are. Oh yeah, we've seen this before as well. <sighs> but we can't skip it for some reason. Oh, oh well. I thought she was an alien from outer space. Yeah, probably because she's wearing that strange helmet. Nah, even with her helmet off, I thought she was an alien pal. I think that's probably best kept to yourself, if you know what I mean. Perhaps. Oh, wait. And Adrian, I always forgot. No, not the badge again! <laughs> She's Mr. Ongard's manager, right? No matter what I do, I really stink at talking with people like her. As soon as I open my mouth, I get all flustered. See, she's one of those women with a brain. She's someone who gets things done. Yeah, she does give that sort of impression, like she's got it all together. Compared to her, you can easily tell I'm a can't-do-anything-right kind of guy. That's why I get all nervous and start messing up. I feel sort of bad for her. Alright, let's examine! Look at that gigantic bear. Wow, there's a lot of bears! Alarm clock ones, collector's editions, stuffed teddies, plastic models... Again, I think it's because someone stole a bear. It's pretty overwhelming. Is there some kind of a bear he doesn't have? There's even a few in the trash can. Yeah, I get the feeling maybe the guy didn't really like bears. Poor teddies! It's hard to bear with all these problems! Growl! Thank you for coming back for two seconds. I don't think I want to bear with the trauma the last case caused me. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Mo came back! Kind of. For like two seconds. There are all sorts of things in this refrigerator. The carrot juice bottle and the tomato juice bottle are both empty. Ooh, empty. carrot juice is so good. It's too much of a hassle to throw them away, I guess. They're all vegetable juices. I guess he must have been a real health nut. Oh! There's a beet! Some shit ketchup and a bottle of strawberry jam, too! How do you get a bottle of jam? I don't... Uh, maybe red maybe was his like favorite color? Maybe it's like the Smuckers one, where it's like... <laughs> I've did, seen... did you say Smuckers or Snuckers? Smuckers. <laughs> okay. It's so messy here! Pearls really likes things neat and tidy, I take it. There's a lot of electri electronic things in here I've never seen before! Hey, Mr. Nick, tell me what they are, pretty, please! Okay, that one over there is a watch. You wear it on your wrist. I know what the watch is. 
Oops. For a second there, I forgot I was talking with Pearls, not Maya. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Also... Oh, wait, that's right. Uh, there's, there's another half of the room over here. Oh, another half. What are you doing? I'm trying to... Okay, uh, there's something that fell. I was trying to get it. Well, get it, get it later. Okay. <laughs> it looks like Mr. Corita had dinner last night. This bottle is tomato juice. We had a lot of food at the award show last night. But I wonder if the stars had gone on stage after he only eating a meager meal like this. <laughs> no clues here. Yep, it's big, but it's a bed. Ah, Mr. Nick, it's so soft! Big beds must be a rarity for her. Well, also, they were literally sleeping on the ground, so... <laughs> it's actually better for your back. Yeah, it is. Tenzin. Bottles of cosmetics are scattered all over the floor. This is probably where Mr. Corita fought his assailant. What's this glass fragment from? A flower vase, maybe? There are flowers on the floor, but I don't know what they are. You don't know much about flowers, do you, Mr. Nick? This is a guitar case, I guess? A little beat up, but still usable. That's strange. The guitar's not here. Maybe he forgot to bring it to the show? It's Smash. The Mystic Maya. She said the bright red guitar was the Jammin' Ninja's signature item. That's true. Huh? The guitar case is wet, but it's only wet on the top of the lid. Mm -hmm. There's no water inside the case. This is water, isn't it? Guitar case added to the court record. Probably the vase spilled, the flowers went on the floor, and the water went out. It's a beautiful wine glass, and there's tomato juice in it. Ew, tomato juice? I don't really like it much. Yeah, that sounds like a really gross thing. Tomato drink. juice is disgusting. There's a bottle of it on the table over there. That's probably where this came from. But doesn't that seem weird? What seems weird? I mean, everything is scattered all over the floor. She's right. The flower vase was broken and the makeup is strewn everywhere. Why is the glass the only thing that's still all right? Wine glass added to the court record. <laughs> what can you tell me about this guitar case? Oh, that. This is just what I heard, pal, but that's the Jammin' Ninja signature item! The guitar case? No, not that! What do you take me as? I mean, the guitar inside, of course. But... the guitar's missing! Yeah, we looked for it, too. It's not normal for a person to forget to bring their most famous item to an award show. It's starting to sound like that red guitar is related to this case, after all. It's probably smashed! That's my theory. So, about this wine glass... Ah, so you noticed it, pal. The whole crime scene was a mess, but this glass was the only thing that was untouched. You noticed that too, Detective Gumshoe? No, actually, Miss Von Karma noticed it first. Yeah, Pearls noticed it before me too. Hey, wait a minute. So, does that mean Miss Von Karma's coming here? Yeah, she's coming. Man, you're going to be in so much trouble, pal. I think it'd be best if you didn't bump into her here. You can bet that instant I see her, I'll be running at the 1,000 meter dash. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, what's that beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Hmm, I've heard this sound somewhere before. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Whenever I hear that sound, for some reason, she pops out of nowhere and whips me. Come to think of it, that did happen the last time. S sorry I gotta make myself scarce later, pal! Yow! At last, you reveal your true nature, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Me? Would it be too much to ask for you to be nice to me for a change? So, you are the type to steal information from pitifully hopeless detectives. That's very dishonorable of you! Ow! Hey! Don't you dare run away, scruffy McTrenchcoat! Ah! Uh. I didn't think the de detectives of this count county country could be this pitiful. <laughs> Detective, come over here for a second. Yeah! Hmm. I feel 
better knowing that at least you were man enough to face your punishment. He was so scared, he just froze up on the spot. Mr. Phoenix Wright! You, you have spoiled my perfect prosecution re record. I'll never forget that. This time, victory is mine! Victory is yours? Is that all this means to you? What? <laughs> Come, scruff face. This investigation briefing is about to begin. Y yes, sir. This isn't over yet. I swear on my family's honor. Ow! Now what did she throw at me? What is this? Could be important. Well, I guess this means I've got to get back to the precinct now, pal. If you ever need me, come down to the Criminal Affairs Department, alright? Ooh, we can go to Criminal Affairs. And if you can, try not to let Miss Von Karma see you. You have to do like a Tigger sneaking around thing like in <laughs> No! <laughs> Please don't reference Bigwood's Big Game. Unless it's, it's really great. relevant. Mr. Nick, what's this piece of paper? It's called an autograph. Aut autograph? It's got Mr. Corita's name written on it, so it's his autograph. I can't read it at all. To be honest, I've never seen writing that looks like this. Ah, it's a special way of writing called cursive. See? This is why you need to know cursive, kids! Look here, see how it says, to my dearest Wendy, in more normal letters here? Uh, that's weird! <laughs> this sloppy, unreadable writing is crazy and cruel to give this to someone! Hold on. Wendy? I've heard that name somewhere before. Mr. Corita's autograph added to the court record. Alright, well, that's all the time we have for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time we continue the investigation. Probably have one or two episodes left before we go to court. And it's only one court case in court period. Well, we get, we've got to win it in one or else big trouble ah. happens. So, yeah, look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.